Welcome back everybody. Just a reminder that if you'd like to have photos or videos of your truck put out there for the world to appreciate and can't find the time to do it yourself, you can send them to TWB1776 at gmail.com. Include the make, model, year, and horsepower. If there's anything that you'd like to have blurred out, such as a license plate, DOT numbers, or whatever, we can make that happen as well. Your first name would be nice as well. I'm asking for no money. It's entirely free. Today I would like to talk about the weather here in the great state of Colorado. We generally have eight to nine months of very nice weather. And then, of course, we have to deal with the winter months. Some people love the winter months and some don't. I, for one, have to drive a semi in it. So, as you may guess, the winter months are not high on my love to drive month. I'd much rather stay at home by the fire where it's warm and cozy. That doesn't pay the bills or put food on the table. To go out on the roads during the winter months, you need to be aware that the weather can change from one minute to the next. Crossing the Rockies can be a very nice drive one minute and then all of a sudden you could be in a heavy snowstorm with very high wind. During the last year the winds on Monarch Pass was recorded at 148 miles per hour. That type of wind velocity can and does turn light and loaded trucks over, not to mention campers. It can blow trees down and cause landslides. Think about that for a moment. You're driving up over Monarch Pass as a heavy snowstorm develops. Before you can get down the other side, the winds pick up to 148 miles per hour. I'm very sure that will be whiteout conditions. You won't be able to see the drive. You're going to be sitting in the middle of the road, waiting it out. There's nothing else you can do. Please, do not leave your truck or car. You can get lost and freeze to death very quickly in that type of weather. From traveling during the winter months, no matter where you are, always carry warm clothes and extra food and water. People want to take advantage of the deep snow and will go skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, or just drive around the high mountain passes to enjoy the sights. But no matter the reason that you're out there during the winter months, you need to keep in mind but it can be very dangerous on the roads and highways. There will be ice, snowpack, high winds, avalanches, freezing rain, and maybe even fog. And of course, there is a risk of elk, deer, and an occasional bear that may want to cross the road. It's very normal to get light snowstorm in the Rockies up until late June, so don't be surprised if you do happen upon one. So you need to be aware that not only can the other vehicle next to you be a danger, but the weather can be your worst enemy as well. I'm not putting this out there to scare anyone. I just want you to be aware. Until next time, subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and ring that bell. Be safe, everybody.